Hi guys, welcome to another Excessive Gamer Review, my series of thoughts of current and maybe not so current games, because some oldies are worth looking back to. If you're hoping for an overall score or anything that remotely depicts any form of scaling system whereby you get to gauge the worthiness of the material, well, this isn't the place to get it, but what you'll get certainly is my most humble and honest opinion on what I think works and doesn't work in any given title. So if you like what you see, or dislike it so much that you can't stop watching, well, then why not subscribe? With all those formalities out of the way, let's get going. So, being completely honest, I only picked this up because I kept running across other reviewers giving the game a lot of praise. Originally I was never interested in the title because stealth is really not my cup of charlie. I'm more of a guns blazing type of gamer and at first glance this just seemed way too focused on stealth for my liking. Regardless, for the sake of not losing out what had seemingly become a must have title, I picked it up for the PS4. Within the initial hour I couldn't help but feel the story wanted me to care more than I did. I never felt as attached as I felt the game needed or expected me to be during the rather dramatic first hours. The death of a family member is always a jarring moment, but yet I hadn't quite gotten to the point of caring for the characters yet at this point. Saying that though, it completely caught me by surprise by around chapter 4. The relationship between Amicia and Ugo began to mean something. It seemed to hit a chord with me being the elder sibling of three or perhaps it was the paternal instinct in me but I started getting the relationship and honestly started caring. With every swarm of rats and every knight of the Inquisition standing between Alicia and Ugo, there were moments of heart-pounding anguish, some really intensive moments of unwelcomed and increasing anxiety leading to beads of sweat trickling down my nether regions. Getting through each chapter didn't just mean advancing in the game or story, it felt like a great accomplishment because I had helped Alicia with a little brother in this rather hostile environment by being the adult wielding slingshot warrior princess I was never expected to become. A couple of times due to Ugo's illness Amicia needs to carry the little guy on her back. A subtle everyday occurrence and an almost insignificant detail which actually adds so much significance to this relationship. The environment when out in the world is breathtaking. You're treated to picturesque countrysides filled with colour, autumn reds and browns to lush greens, they stand out and look quite frankly serene and extremely beautiful. There is a lot of attention to detail here and the game really can be a stunner most times. The rats however look quite bland to be honest, but they, um, the way they scatter all over the place is still unnerving and looks decent nonetheless. Without spoiling anything, the game sees the main protagonist Amicia struggling to find a cure for her little brother Hugo's illness. Throughout the story, she not only has to figure out ways of traversing environments filled with crazed swarms of rats, which is done by lighting fire pits, uh, since they are dissuaded by light, um, using lanterns uh, or strategically dropping food on specific locations in order to attract their attention, thus allowing you to sneak past them. Um, it, it is a little bit more complex and involving than uh, I've given it justice, but that is basically the gist of it as far as the rat encounters go. I found myself slinging rocks at the mugs of some of the Inquisition Knights on more than one occasion, so the concept behind only sneaking is really left up to you even though the game does seem to favour the sneaking approach, but it doesn't really punish you for being more Duke Nukem about things. Definitely the game is pretty much set on rails, so you will follow a guided path throughout, though this isn't as bad as you think. I was expecting this from the get-go and let's face it, no one buys a game like this to go in guns blazing, you're expecting a story driven adventure and here you are getting just that. Plus a complex relationship between the two protagonists that deepens and grows more intricate with each passing scene. The game is both beautiful in its visuals as well as daunting and quite horrific. This is all done very well and during the course of each chapter Hugo typically gets excited about everyday mundane things in only a way a child can making it rather charming too. On a technical aspect I'm sure this game hits the top marks in many areas, although I can't vouch for the story being anything other than mediocre, with good to ok voice acting, however when it comes to the gameplay I felt it was definitely lacking. I couldn't help but shake the feeling that there was something missing and that didn't dissipate as the journey progressed. I found the gameplay was lacking innovation and I found little to no excitement throughout the process. As far as I'm concerned, this game shines solely because of the relationship between Amicia and Hugo. I can't see why reviewers are considering this to be such a technical marvel. Maybe as far as level and character design go, I mean it is great in those areas without a doubt, but I'm not about to make up that I'm any expert in those fields. As far as the gameplay goes though, as aforementioned, I think it was definitely lacking. 
by no means has a plague tale innocence taken my breath away as it seems to have done for many others, but I won't quickly forget the relationship between Amicia and Hugo. The togetherness, the sibling rivalry and the fact she had to take the reins without much choice is what hit me most. The gameplay may be forgettable and the story seemed run of the mill, but the characters were certainly not. Anyway, that's all for me. Please remember to like the video, let me know in the comments section what you think about the game and if there is another game you'd like me to review for next time. If you ain't playing rock hard, then you ain't playing at all. I'm Excessive Gamer, until next time.